Okay, I figured out how to move this decimal over on this thing finally. <laughs> right the directions. But anyway, if you're ever curious as to what the, some of these frequencies do, you might want to go to uh, the herbal... What do you call this place again? It's, um, yeah, I cross-reference uh, electro-orbitalism website. You could download these things and take a look at, you know, what they're, what they're doing. Now, uh, I'm going to use the Spooky 2 generator and uh, just try it out a little bit. It seems to be highly accurate. Um, I'm going to start with the proven frequencies. Uh, I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to do some of them, just to give you an idea. So that's actually going to be, let me click this on, that's going to be 5,111 hertz. Now this thing takes a little while to kind of read it, so you've got to be patient. Probably first reading is going to be wrong. I could, it's got to do its thing, you know. It's got to think or something. It'll show up. You know. 5,000. Yeah, that's it. 5,000. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> a tenth of a... <laughs> A tenth of a hertz off in uh, when you're talking thousands. That's that's accurate. Okay, so it's it's five thousand one hundred and ten point nine hertz. And that's if this thing's accurate. I don't even know. But the last time I tried it, it was five eleven. So this this spooky vi device is very accurate. And supposedly John White got it to be more accurate through the software he does because he I think he picks out the um, the intervals or something. I don't know what he does exactly. I think, like, there's an oscillator in there with, uh, you know, so many megahertz on, a, on the uh, generator, this thing here. And you can pick out the oscillator or something like that to uh, hit the exact oscillation that's going to get closest as you can. So, because nothing's ever going to be perfect on this. So this one's going to be, um, let me take that out again. This is going to be start with 76. And I'm not going to bore you with this, but just so you can see, you got to wait for it to do its thing here, man. You know what I mean? Tick tock, tick tock. I don't know why the zapper seems to do it a lot faster. Well, 75.5. Actually, I had 76 just before. But that's cool. That's cool. That's accurate. Well, 76. There it is. The little, it's got to like warm up or something. You know? When it gets. It's got to like run a bit to get it you actually what if I let it run on the other thing it probably would even had that tenth of a hertz too so it's 76 exactly as advertised on there 76 okay so spooky looks like it's damn accurate let's do uh that's let me take this out 727 that's a real common one right the blood cleaner right <laughs> it's clean it's Click that on, so it's got to like warm up and do its thing as before. So, tick tack, tick tack, it'll be there. 727.0, right on the nose, man. How's that? So, and let's, uh, like, I can mean, I don't have to put another frequency set. These are common frequencies, these are the ones you'd be most concerned with. Let's say. Let's do uh, 5,000. That's a higher one. So it's going to have to think for a second here before it calculates or whatever the hell it does. So. Well, that's close. <laughs> 4,999.9. That's <laughs> Is that accurate or what? Let's take another one, uh, a common one, uh, 787. So now it's doing that thing. Should be doing it. I think this takes like a measurement so many seconds or something. It goes, you know, it's got to think cross with the average. 787.0. So, Spooky is accurate. It's very accurate. Now the only, the only zapper that is coming to this kind of, well, Spooky is actually... Freaking accurate as all hell. I mean, what the hell can I tell you, right? Um, let's. You know, I'm curious now. But let's take something that's. Uh, is there anything up here like a lot? Let's take one of them Clark ones, man. What does that say? Yeah, read that. 
That says 568,000. How's that? Let's do that one. Let's do that one. I mean, this is this will give you enough proof that this thing works. Did, did I say 568? 568,000, right? Let's uh, give it some time. Tick tock. Tick. Now, you know, I'm not even rehearsing this. This is just a raw video, man. It's the first time I even tried Spooky. 567,000. 99.3 <laughs> well I think that's accurate you know you know the thing is like with um like I said when there's an oscillator in the thing he's got to choose the, the closest oscillation to the exact frequency because it's a five megahertz oscillator so he's choosing the absolute I think the software is actually making this generator more accurate I, I could probably check the uh, generator by itself but I think the software, the way he's, I think, I'm not sure, but I think he chooses the oscillation of the actual, um, you know, the actual uh, frequency generator to come up with the closest he could possibly get to what you program. And that's damn super, super, super close by error rate. That's really close. I mean, Royal Rafe would be proud of that by himself, you know what I mean? Except that's a hold the Clark frequency, so no problem, man. No problem at all. No, by the way, let's let's do a Rafe frequency. Let me take out these hold the Clark ones for a second. Rafe. What do we got here? What does that say? Uh, 116, th what the hell is that? 16 million 40,000 or something? Oh, wait a minute. 1,604,000. That's what that is. Let's take this out. That's one of them uh, Royal Rife frequencies. So when he gets his, um, you know, when he gets the plasma device, you're going to have something that's going to be, wait a minute, you know what? I think I need to change this damn thing to another mode here. Here it is. <laughs> I gotta change the button. So it's one million six hundred and three thousand and ninety-eight or something. That's it's off by like two or something. You know, it's like <laughs> you're talking like a million. It's off by twenty. Okay, so that's that's what it is. It's that's accurate. And like I said, he's got to choose the closest oscillation to you know the frequency he's trying to get so his his software he probably I think I you know, I don't want to state I don't want to say what he's doing exactly but I think what he's doing is in his software he's choosing the closest oscillation of the frequency generator to bring you up to that frequency that's super close so that's 1,604,000 right so this is 1,603,980 that's damn close. That's close enough for freaking Royal Rife, I'll guarantee you that. So when this thing actually, when we actually get the plasma device, which I think he's got going, like, you know, I don't know if it's going to be coming out exactly, but that's going to be about as close to the real, the original real McCoy Royal Rife stuff as you can get. So that's cool. Anyway, so anybody interested in wondering if Spooky 2 is really accurate? Spooky 2 is accurate as all hell and for zappers the power zapper my zapper is the only one that even comes close to this kind of accuracy this that's good